I'm gonna show you how to pass a smog. If you got a failed smog test from the uh, IM monitors not being ready, I'm gonna show you what to do and how to handle it. You ready? Works for most cars. Some cars it may not work, but this is what you do, okay? After I show you how to uh, do the IM monitor test and complete it, get them all complete, I'll show you get what to get ready inside the engine, okay? Let's go do this. Got a scanner? Well, you're gonna need a scanner in order to do this. But what you can do is you can go rent one. Okay? Well, hook up your scanner. First of all, this is first thing in the morning. Okay? Do this when the car is cold. All right. So turn the car on, and you're gonna put the defrost on it. Right? Let it run for like uh, a few minutes. So what you're doing is you're trying to get the car into a normal, uh, a, re a regular uh, daily schedule of how people, you know, run their cars. Like from the minute they get up, let's put the defrost on. The second they get in the car, turn on the defrost and start driving through the street for a couple miles. Okay, now we got the defrost on. Put it on a full blast, okay? For now, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I want to show you that this car I'm gonna show you that this car these monitors are are not ready, okay? So look at this. Enter, doing Asian vehicles. This is a 1999 Mazda 626. Uh, 2.5, 2. I think it is, 99, 626, yeah, this is a 2.5. Okay, keep, okay, watch this. I'm gonna go straight into the IM monitors. It's gonna, it's gonna tell me though, <coughs> Excuse me. It's gonna tell me right away. Oh dang it! I got a bad connection here. Shoot. Hold on for a sec. My bad. Excuse me. Okay. Enter. Two point five. No. Nope, don't want to erase nothing. Okay, it's gonna take us straight into the iron monitors and it's gonna say they're not ready, okay? See this here? That's what happens. If you disconnect your battery and you think you're gonna go past smog, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But this is what happens when your uh, IM monitor, IM, IM is uh, inspection and the M is for maintenance and monitors, status. This is the status on the monitors and um, any, any related components to the uh, smog. So it says not all supported onboard diagnostic onboard readiness tests are complete. So that means that all the tests aren't complete yet. So enter. So what are we checking for? Now let's go back to uh, this deal here. We're gonna go to special test. Okay. Drive cycle monitors. Okay. Okay, you see all that INC? That means incomplete. So the catalyst monitor, catalytic converter monitor is incomplete. The EVAP system monitors, incomplete. Oxygen sensor, sensor uh, monitor, incomplete. Heated, HTR is heated. Oxygen sensor, incomplete. ECR system monitor, incomplete. So we got the five, one, two, three, four, five. Five monitors that are incomplete. Okay, why is that? Because uh, I erased the codes on this after I fixed some, something on here. And then uh, once you erase the codes, it has to start the monitoring process all over again. Okay, so if you disconnect the battery, it's just like erasing the codes. So now what you got to do is you got to take the test through drive cycles. You got to take them through certain driving cycles in order to uh, complete all of these monitors. There's more monitors than these. There's like 11 or 12, but these are the ones that are mainly incomplete. Yep, and it takes the EVAP system monitor longer than the rest of them. The oxygen sensor will go first. 
then the catalyst, then the EVAP system. Well, oxygen, EGR will go at the same time pretty much. Then the catalyst monitor will uh, go. And then the EVAP system is, is pretty much the last one most of the times. So right now we're gonna go take it through a drive test. I mean drive cycle, sorry about that. And we're gonna go take it through a route that I always use. I use the same route for all the cars that I, uh, that I do. And uh, I'm not a smog tech, but I used to work with the smog tech. And I know this stuff, man, it works. So this is how it's gonna happen. This is what goes down when you fail your smog because of the IM monitors, okay? So we're gonna do the drive test. And then when we come back, we're going to see if the monitors are done. Uh, keep in mind, sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. If it doesn't work the first time, do it over again, okay? <clears throat> so the first test, we're going to take it on the freeway. I just turned on the, uh, the, uh, the heater. The first test, we're going to take on, a, um, <clears throat> on the freeway, okay? That's how you do this test. Okay, when you get on the freeway, you have to take it through... Um, You have to drive uh, 55 miles, no less than 55 miles an hour, and don't go above 65 miles an hour, okay? All right. So let's go do this, okay? Keep this in mind, too. When we get to, you gotta do it for like five miles, okay? Well, five minutes. Drive for five minutes on the freeway and then you're gonna drive for five minutes on the freeway then you're going to okay you're gonna drive for five minutes on the freeway then you're gonna come to a complete stop I go on this ramp the ramp goes uphill Keep in mind, you cannot hit the brake when you come to that stop. When you get to the stop on the ramp, I mean, when you're going up the ramp, you're gonna stop, but you're gonna let it coast and stop on its own, okay? So you're gonna let the vehicle coast on its own and stop, all right? But I usually use the handbrake to come to a complete stop, and it works good. Just don't hit the brake, don't hit the, don't hit the foot pedal, the brake. Okay. So as I get on this freeway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try to keep it above 55. No, I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna keep it above 55. In between 55 and 60, uh, 65. Watch the uh, dilly and the, watch the speedometer. Okay, here we go. Remember, keep the vehicle above 55 miles an hour and 65. Okay. Once you get it above 55, don't go back. Okay. Right there. Between uh don't go above 65, okay? And you want to put your hazards on because you're gonna be going pretty slow. Alright. Keep it right there around 60. Try to get into a lane where you don't see a lot of people, alright? Uh in front of you. Okay, I got the hazards on. Okay, now, this is the five minutes. I already got a little route. 
I already timed it out and everything. I got a route that uh, takes me five minutes to get to the bridge. I'm gonna keep it like that, right around 60, between 60, 55 and 60, okay? I mean 65. You see, I'm starting to go slow. Everybody's going a little bit faster. So keep your hazards on, all right? Bear with me. I don't want to turn the camera off because I want to. Uh, I want you to see that this works. All right. I hear a lot of people uh, drive their cars thousands of miles, and these monitors still don't go off. Well, you have to take your car through the uh, drive cycle. Certain. Uh, you got to take it through certain driving uh, cycles in order for the monitors to be complete. That's just the way they got it set up at the manufacturer. Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. I hate it. I hate smog, but I smog so many cars, you know. This is what I do. Remember, keep your hazards on because I'm going really slow. And uh, people, uh, you want people, you don't want people you know, tailgating you and uh, cause you to stress out, get you, get you to crash or whatever. Remember, we're going to use the brake, okay? We're going to use the handbrake, that boy, this bad boy right here. We're not going to use the foot pedal when we come to the ramp, okay? I don't know if you're going to have a ramp where you're at. See, I'm getting over because I don't know if this car is going to do go slower or not. But I'm just going to try to leave a, a wide open uh, spot in front of me. Yeah, like I said earlier, this might work for your car. It works for most of the cars that I do. It might work, it might not work. Okay, let me get out of this lane and get back over here. I'm moving like a turtle over here. People behind me. Okay, I'll stay right here. Okay, I'm gonna go smog this bad boy today. Thing I can't stand is smog. I flip cars, and the, the most horrible thing I hate is stupid smogs, man. See, I'm getting kind of low, down almost to 55. Don't let it go below 55, okay? Yeah, smog is a pain, man. I smog so many cars, man. But you know, this is what you gotta do. This is the deal, man works. A lot of people don't even know this. Smog techs won't even tell you this stuff, man. A lot of them will just let you just fail and some of them will do you wrong, man, big time. Charge you for an O2 sensor or something. And, you know, O2 sensor is like 80 bucks at the shop, man. Plus. Plus or minus. But mostly plus. Yeah, I know, man. I used to work in the shop. I used to rob people all the time. But anyways, this is how you do it. You do it on your own. Do it at home, man. I'm doing this for free because I'm, I like to help people, man. I don't like to see people get robbed. Yeah, I'm getting a little, going a little too fast. I was almost at the 65. Don't let it get there. This ramp's coming up pretty soon, okay? This drive, keep in mind, you have to drive it for five minutes below, I mean above 55 and below 65 miles per hour. And the five minutes is almost up. This ramp is coming, coming up right up here. So I gotta be ready, be ready for this. Man, we got a bunch of cars right here in the front. Not good. Uh, I'm gonna move over. You know, man, my, my, there in my ramp lane, the lane I used to get on the ramp. Man, I hit right 55, dang it. See what I mean? Okay, let me get back over. It's Palm Avenue ramp. Oh man, person just killed it. I gotta get over. So this person's going slow. 
comes the ramp, okay? I'm gonna go like halfway up the ramp, that way I'm not at the bottom. I'm gonna go halfway up the ramp, then I'm gonna uh, take my foot off the accelerator. Whoa, we're almost went down below 55. Okay, right about. Well, I'm really close to 55. Okay, right now, I'm gonna let off, okay? Okay, I got the emergency brake here, okay? I'm coasting. I'm gonna push the button and hit the uh, pull the brake up. Okay. Look, bring it down all the way like that. Okay. Let off, then take off. Okay. Now you want to drive it through the city. Stop and go. All right. You want to drive it through the city for a little bit. Okay. Now you want to stop and go. You want to keep the car below, uh, you want to go 35 miles an hour and keep it in between there. I mean, uh, 30 and 35. Then you're going to come to stop signs, do complete stops, okay? I'm going to turn off the hazards so it don't attract the police. This car isn't even registered, man. So hopefully I don't get pulled over. And what you want to do now is you want to stop and go also. Keep it, uh, man, I already went over 40, man. I'm not even paying attention, my bad. So, keep it around 35 miles an hour. I know I went at 40, but uh, I've done it before. I went over and it still worked. Now it's all about stopping and going, okay? You're letting the, uh, the whole monitoring system deal you're letting all that do its thing. It's checking the EVAP system, the catalytic converter to see, see if everything's, you know, uh, if the efficiency is all up to par. And uh, it's checking the O2 sensor uh, readings. Okay. Haven't even stopped yet. Normally, these lights, I stop at these lights, but uh, of course, today they're not turning red. Yeah, I don't want to turn the camera off because I want to prove to you that this works. A lot of people don't even know about this, man. I know I'm going below the 35 and above the 40, but you know, it works, man. Watch. See, speed limit is 35, and that's what they got these uh, vehicles programmed to run at. Well, not, not to run at, but that's where the monitoring system it checks for the values and uh, you know the happy medium between high and low ranges and stuff. I need to do is I need to stop. All these lights have been green. Normally they, they hit red and I stop and go, stop and go, but I haven't even stopped yet. I'm gonna stop anyway, even though it's green. Okay, complete stop. Okay, we're gonna go down here and do the same. Yeah, I normally take the same route all the time. When I want to get rid of these, uh, when I want to get the IM readiness monitors uh, done and complete, I take the same exact route. But I'm a little nervous today because this vehicle isn't even registered. It's a non op and I'm getting it ready to smog it for sale. So I'm a little nervous right now, looking over my shoulder for the police. Hopefully nothing happens, man. But that's what you do when you flip cars, man. You just got to figure it out. You got to handle it. But for you guys, I'm doing this because I want you guys to see you can you can finish the IM monitor codes. And uh, if you don't have a scanner, uh, you can, um, <clears throat> there's people on Craigslist. You might have to take them for a little ride though. Or, oh, no, 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 you don't have to take them for a ride. What you can do is you can uh, 
have them check your monitors, see which monitors aren't ready, which are gonna be the catalyst, the EVAP, and the O2 sensors most likely. Those three are always not ready when you disconnect the, uh, the deal. You want to um, go to them and ask them if they can check the codes. Do this whole test here. What we did, you know, we started it in the morning, drove it on the freeway for five minutes, came to a complete stop with the emergency brake. There's a cop right there. With the emergency brake on. I mean, using the emergency brake to stop, my bad. And then we're going through this street test, the street driving test. Stop right here. Right there. Going to a complete stop. Okay, this is perfect. This is what we want. We want to stop. So all the monitors are, are checking everything. All the components, the emission components, and the uh, devices that are involved with the mission, the emission, the emission, um, you know, fields, whatever. So we're stopping and going. And after this, when we get it home, after it, after the iron monitors finish, uh, after they're ready, I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna show you how to get everything ready for the smog, okay? From changing the oil to the spark plugs to cleaning the throttle body and all that. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it with this car. I did all that stuff first, but uh, you can do it before or after, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna point to everything and show you what the dilly is, okay? And you just take it from there, man. Okay, this is all the stopping and going. That's what we want to do. That's exactly what we want to do. I do a lot of smogs, man, and I see a lot of people fail, man. Well, I don't do the smogs. I don't do the machines. I know how they work and everything, but when I do those smog vehicles and I watch people come out of that smog place with failed smogs, and a lot of them are like this, uh, from failed, uh, from the readiness test. I am readiness test not being ready. And, man, the look on the face of people is just, man, distraught. I know exactly how they feel because I hate smog, man. But smog is what I got to do in order to uh, get these cars sold that I sell at the highest value. Plus, you know, I like to get everything ready, you know, get the vehicles ready to, uh, you know, nice safety standard and get them running real good. Because, you know, you're going to do something, do it right. Don't sell anybody no junk or crap, right? Be honest, man. Be honest, have integrity. Do it, do it as if you're doing it for Christ, man. All right? Have integrity, man. Roll like God would, man. Don't do nobody wrong. Stay, uh, stay real, man. Don't be fake. Don't be phony. Don't do nobody wrong. Okay, we're coming up to a spot where I usually go and stop and park. I'll turn the car off and then I'll check the readiness codes. <laughs> Remember, if it doesn't work the first time, do it do it over, man. <laughs> Just do it over, right? See, we're gonna go in this um, store over here, this parking uh, parking lot, and there's Northgate Market over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up, turn the car off, and check this bad boy. All right.
stop the, stop the freeway members, stop and go, stop and go. Okay, go in here. <clears throat> now after you uh, complete that test, come up to a, come up to a parking lot, stop, turn the car off, and then we go right there. Now, we still got the, uh, this bad boy scanner still hooked up, okay? <clears throat> so now, let's do this again, okay? Turn on the ignition. Okay, let's wait for this to come on, all right? Do this all over again. 2.5. No, don't erase codes. Press enter. Enter. And what you want to do is go to special test. Drive monitor. Cycle. Okay, there we go right there. See? I am status. Onboard readiness tests are complete. So, what that is, is just it's telling you everything is done. Press enter. All monitors, okay. See, I didn't even turn the camera off, man. And that's how you do the monitor test and get your smog ready. Okay, now, let's go to prove it. Okay, um, <clears throat> I am readiness. We're gonna check, see if everything was okay, is okay. Okay, remember all that stuff said incomplete? It's gonna say okay now. Miss, miss <coughs> excuse me, misfire monitor, okay. Fuel system monitor, okay. Component. Okay, catalyst, okay. Heated uh, catalyst, non applicable. Evap system, that one, man, that one's a hard hitting one right there. But see, it's okay. NA, NA, oxygen sensor monitors, okay. Heated oxygen sensor monitor, I mean, oxygen sensor, okay. EGR system monitor, okay. See, bad boy's done. Everything's complete. And that's how you want it. Now let's go back to drive cycle monitor one more time and check it. All monitors, okay. You see? And that's how you do the deal, man. Now, let's go take it to the pad and I'm going to show you how to uh, get this thing, get this bad boy ready for smog, okay? Okay, Done now, deal. get it ready for smog. Change your oil. Change your, uh, well, check your coolant levels. Change your spark plugs. Change your wires if you have to. If they're old, change them, definitely. Uh, let me see. Clean your uh, throttle body. Go in here and clean the throttle body with carburetor cleaner and a rag. Oh, check your uh, check your fuel cap. Pull that bad boy off and see if the uh, if you get pressure when you release it. You're listening for a but it has to seal good. Okay. Uh, check the tire pressure. Check this bad boy. Check your idle speed. Idle speed and check your ignition too, your timing. Idle speed is 650 RPM. The ignition timing is 10 degrees before uh, top dead center. Of course, yours is going to be different, but uh, you can check that on the decal sticker on your hood. What else? Uh, make sure you warm it up and drive it on the freeway for about 15, 30 minutes before you go to the smog uh, test, okay? Get the engine nice and warm and hot. And what else? Make sure, yeah, you can't, they won't even smog the car. If you got check engine light, they won't even smog the bad boy. All right? So you got to get that, get rid of that check engine light and fix that. Um, and, of course, we just did the iron monitor test. Those have to be cleared before you can go take the test. Well, you can take the test, but you're just going to fail it and waste money. Um, what else? Tommy Marks. Oh, one more thing with the, uh, oh, you can get a gun. Timing gun. Well, check the timing. This timing is what? 10 degrees? But you have to do it like this. With test connector for idle setting connected. I didn't do that yet, but let me just show you how it works. Hook up the timing gun. Push the trigger. Go down here. See a little white mark? Moving. Little by little. This timing is good. It goes to be uh goes plus or minus like two degrees. Plus or minus 10 degrees. 
But yeah, it's, it's good enough. Good to go. Okay. Then you want to check for. Uh, I know most of you don't have a scanner, but look, check this out. Scanners are very, very uh, good to have. You see that short term ST and LT, FTRM1? That's short term fuel trim and long term fuel trim. You want that, all that, the short term and long term, as close to zero as possible. See, we're hitting zero, then we're going down to negative, negative three on the short term. Long term is a little high, but as long as you're below 10, 10%, on the uh, short term and long term fuel trim, you should be good to go. Unless you got something else going on in the engine. Okay? It's not a guarantee. This doesn't guarantee that you pass small. But you want to get that short term and long term fuel trim at, um, at zero. That way, um, what it's saying is that the, uh, the computer is uh, adjusting everything properly when you got it at zero. But if you got a, um, a problem with short term or long term fuel trim, all it is is this. The negative means it's adding fuel. On the other side would be, um, I mean, the negative means it's taking away fuel. The positive would be no, no positive, no plus sign or nothing. But it would be saying um, it's uh, adding fuel, positive. So negative is taking away fuel, positive is adding fuel, okay? That's a short term and long term fuel trim. And you can have many different problems with that. You could have a clogged air filter, uh, leaking fuel injectors, um, anything that can make it run, run rich or lean. That's what that's saying. It's running a little lean, so it'll take, it's running a little rich, so it'll take away some, which is the negative. Or it's running a little lean, so it'll add some, which is the positive. Okay? Anyways, I'll show more on that in a different video. But uh, that's how you get your smog ready, man. So go out there and handle it, man, and have faith in your work. All right, because just got back to passing smog. Yep, past the bad boy, right here. Bam, bam. Here's the uh, license plate number, just to prove to you. 4HKH119. Now let's go back to the license plate number. H119. Okay, that's the bad boy right there. Passed him. Okay, let me show you something. See these uh, CO and HC? Let me show you why you need to know about that. Um, the uh, short term uh, fuel trim and long term fuel trim. Remember we did that earlier, the I am uh, status readiness uh, uh, test. Handle that, okay? This is live data, man. If you ever do decide to get a uh, scanner, make sure you get one with live data that, that has the capability to read live data, okay? Okay, short term fuel trim, long term fuel trim. See, remember what I told you earlier? If you are below 10% negative, see that negative, and positive, then you'd be pretty good. Unless you got something else, mechanical, or something wrong with the engine. This short term fuel trim and long, long term fuel trim is telling what, it's the oxygen sensors telling the computer to deduct fuel from the fuel injectors or to add fuel. Remember, minusing is deducting fuel and positive is uh, adding fuel, okay? Here in the hydrocarbons, we got 25. We measured at 25. Max is 56. That's at the 15 mile per hour test. The, uh, we measured 15 uh, on the 25 mile per hour test, and 40 is the max. That right there is telling me that we're a little rich, okay? We're burning uh, unburned fuel, partially burned fuel is hydrocarbons. But uh, we still passed. But it's just saying right there, we're running a little bit rich. And that's what this long-term fuel trim is saying. It's saying, hey, you're kind of rich there. So there's 7%. At 7%, it's telling the uh, short-term fuel trim that, hey, it has to, adjust, it has to adjust 7%, which makes the long, the short-term fuel trim go down to uh, 4, 3, 2, or 0. But that's telling you that we got a rich condition in this car. 
nothing major enough to fail the smog, but, you know, we still passed. But uh, just keep that in mind. These are very important uh, percentages, short-term and long-term fuel trims. Carbon monoxide, we're burning pretty good. Because we're at uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. That's not bad at all. But we know we got some raw fuel that's being partially burnt, which is the hard hydrocarbons. So keep that in mind. That uh, that's a very important uh, diagnostic uh, uh, <clears throat> thing to know on your scanner. So, anyways, that's how you pass your smog, man. That's how you handle it, and that's what you do if your IM readiness tests are not complete. Okay, and if they're not complete, you know what to do now. It may not work for all cars, but it will work for a lot of them. I can't tell you exactly what your drive cycle is, or what the drive cycle is that your car. That you have to put your car through but just look it up man it's going to be pretty similar to what i just did a little while ago and um just look it up man do your research and handle it man all right see everything is okay now just pass smog all this is right now within like five hours i did all this that's because i took a little break and went to go eat but anyway pass smog if you ever fail your uh, i am readiness test that's what you do, man. Start it up in the morning, put the uh, defroster on, and get out there and uh, drive that bad boy on the freeway for a little bit. Five minutes, man. Come to a complete stop, but you can't use your brake. Use your handbrake, okay? Come to a complete stop and go on the road for a little bit, like I showed you. Then pull over, turn the car off, and check the uh, your monitor, see if they're all right, okay? So that's how you handle that, man. And don't forget, man. Keep Christ in your life, man. If you don't got to put him in your life, quit playing with your soul, man. And handle things, all right? In Jesus' name, man, that's how you do it. With all, with God, all things are possible. Go out there and handle it.